My name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to another edition of Photoshop for Video. This week, we're going to take a look at an aggressive text effect that you can apply. We're going to use a pattern image to degrade the edges of our text. Now, I wouldn't recommend this for every text image, but this will work well on things like section bumpers or show titles. Let's see how we can use this to create a very organic look. So, in Photoshop here, I've just set some text on the screen using a very large font. And in this case, I'm using the Sans. It's just a large sans serif font that works well. And we're going to go ahead and stylize this image a little bit. Let's add some layer styles. And we'll start off by doing some simple things. Let's go ahead and do a gradient overlay. And we'll add a color. And we could play with this here, picking different colors as needed. And you see that these are mixing together. That's because we have our color overlay here laid in on top as well. I'll go ahead and turn that off for a second. We'll just go right back to the basic gradient overlay. And let's go with something a little bit nice. Let's try from our color harmonies collection here. We'll do something gentle, this brown to orange. That works pretty well. And we'll lower the opacity down. And we'll click OK. Now, I'm not using that as much for color as I am for tonal range. I just wanted to go from a dark to a slightly lighter edge to add a little bit of depth or sense of light to the image. We'll go ahead and double click back on this here. And let's go ahead and add a little bit of a bevel. And in this case, we're going to do a outer bevel and play with the size. And that seems to work pretty well. And Let's go ahead and lighten that up. We'll go back to that color overlay, and we'll pick a lighter blue here. And that seems to work pretty well. And click OK. If I want to make this a little bit more liquid, that's where satin can come in. And we could set this to something like screen, and it'll actually make the text a little brighter. Let's finish this off. I've got some painted textures here. These are just canvases that we painted. And I'm just going to strip the color away, Shift Command U, and do Select All, Copy. And this is just a photograph of a painted canvas that we did. And we'll hit Paste. That loads this in. I could press Command T and Command Zero for free transform and scale this to taste. And I'm just trying to get a rough pattern. At this point, we'll go ahead and age this a little bit. Let's do a levels adjustment. We're going to really punch that up so the blacks get intense and the whites get really bright. And we're just trying to get some distressing going on here. And that seems to work well. Click OK. Switch over to channels and command click on the RGB channel to make a selection. With that active selection, you could turn this off Come back here and select your text layer and click the Add Layer Mask. And you'll see what it did is it just aged the text and distressed it. Now, we can continue to use the Levels command here to manipulate that, and that'll erode more of the text away. And if we want, we could play with the output sliders here to adjust it, so not as much opacity. And you see what we got there is a great aging effect. Let's click OK and take a look at that. Now, you could use different patterns for this, so let's try it with one more. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that text there. And on the duplicate copy, we'll throw this layer mask away and click Delete. Switch over to another image here, a pattern. And in this case, let's just go ahead and do Select All, Copy, come in, and paste it into the layer. I'm going to go ahead and strip away the color. Image Adjust, Desaturate, and do Free Transform here to size this a bit. Command T and then Command Zero to zoom out. That works well. We're seeing the whole image there. Let's go ahead and run a Levels Adjustment. What we want to do is really push this. So I'm going to push the black so they're really intense and push the white so they get really intense as well. And what we're trying to do here is create a really high contrast image with a lot of distressed. Click OK. Switch over to Channels and Command-click or Control-click the RGB channel to load it. 
turn that off, grab your layer, and add the text mask. At that point, you've aged the text and you've made it partially transparent. That works really well. Remember, a simple levels adjustment lets you crank that and you can continue to erode the text and play with it and adjust the output levels to play with the intensity of the transparency and the aging effect. That looks pretty good. I'll click OK. And there you have it. Two different looks. There's look one. There's look two. Both of these were just done by taking a photographic texture of a distressed organic texture and using it to create a transparency mask. Again, we've said it before, once you start to understand how the channels palette works, you could really start to get some great results inside of Adobe Photoshop. For Photoshop for Video, I'm Rich Harrington. I invite you to check out our resource blog at photoshopforvideo.com where you can find out more about our book from Focal Press and access several additional podcasts and free training tutorials that we've posted online.